Number nine asks for the maximum and minimum value using the range rule. You are given a probability distribution with X and P of X. You need to copy that into StatCrunch and then choose calculators and then choose custom down at the very bottom. Compute and that's going to give you a mean of 5.029 and a standard deviation of 1.715. And then the range rule says that your um, minimum and maximum will be mu plus or minus two standard deviations. So that's going to be 5.029 plus or minus. Of course, minus will be your minimum and your maximum will be the plus one. 2 times 1.715, and that gave me 1.6 up to 8.5. And that's using the range rule. On oh, number 16, you're asked to use the uh, multiplication rule, <clears throat> and we need to talk about that some more. But you've got a multiple choice test with five answers, A, B, C, D, E. Only one of those is correct. So the probability of correct would be one out of five, which is 0.2, two tenths. And of course, the probability of not correct, meaning wrong, would be 0.8. And we're trying to find the probability of a wrong and a wrong and a correct. So probability, the key word here is and, and means multiply. Probability of wrong is 0.8, and the next one being wrong is 0.8, and the next one being correct is 0.2. You multiply those together, and I got 0.128. On number 22, number 22, says... 50% of people believe in reincarnation. This is a binomial problem. That means P is 0.5. Four adults are selected. That means N is 4. N is 4. Um, let me see what you didn't get right. The probability that all of the selected adults believe in reincarnation, that would be the probability that X equals 4 x equal 4, all four of them. So what you do then is you choose um, more help, stat crunch, and then stat calculators binomial, and your n is 4, and your p is 0.5, and you want n equal to four, and then click on compute. And that gave you 0 